Good morning and welcome to the Green Wine Summit channel on mpivot.com. A uh, little shout out to uh, Jonathan behind the camera today with Submerse, who's uh, doing all the taping, who's going to be doing the editing. Um, so we're having a good time. It's still morning. We're drinking our coffee. And I've got Paul Dolan here uh, from Paul Dolan Vineyards. And uh, one of the, the venerable leaders of uh, the green movement uh, in, in wine. Uh, decades now you've been doing this. So, Paul, with this, uh, with this uh, project of your own, Paul Dolan Vineyards, tell us a little bit about that. You're up in Mendocino County? Yeah, we're in Mendocino County. That's where I started. Mm -hmm. uh, the last 30 years, been making wine up there. And about four years ago, I decided to create my own brand and mm -hmm. to sort of align all my values and principles sort of in life and in business to get them lined up with the brand. Right. And uh, so it's 100% organically grown, as well as we have a biodynamic uh, property that we're making a Demeter certified wine. Mm -hmm. So for us, probably the most critical thing is to be certified in order to be able to guarantee to the consumer what it is that they're getting, because I think uh, that's what consumers are looking for these days. They're looking for authenticity and, right. and, uh, uh, and some sort of assurance that what they're paying for is what they're getting. So tell us about, it. Is there, uh, like, what is one of your favorite things that you're doing right now that you feel is progressive that's, that's maybe the next step that you're doing as a, as a wine producer? Boy, you know, I've been in this conversation of sustainability for a long time and uh, been farming organically for a long time. But I guess I'd say that there's two things I think are critical. One is uh, the whole issue around carbon and carbon emissions and the impact on global warming. Right. You know, as a winemaker, I can remember... 25 years ago, struggling to get uh, maybe 23 sugar, 23 and a half, which would be maturity then. And today, with all the excess carbon in the atmosphere and the higher temperatures, we struggle to stay below 27, 28 degrees bricks or percent sugar. So it's a huge issue for us. And so it's a, sort of a game changer. If, if we don't get involved in get, um, doing whatever it is we can to reduce carbon emissions, it's just going to have a neg more, probably more negative. I consider the wine industry kind of like the canary in the coal mine. Right. You know, we're the first that kind of uh, sees the impact of this, of this climate change. Right. And the second thing is, uh, uh, I, I think biodynamics is really uh, a view shed to the future. And what I mean by that is, biodynamics, biodynamic farming, is farming like no other farming, in that. It is a full systems approach, a fully integrated systems approach. Mm -hmm. You know, the world that we grew into, you and I, born into, now live into, was based on science. And uh, science in which we tend to want to break things down into individual units, fix them and put them back into the system. Right. Very reductive way of looking at things. But the world doesn't operate that way. No. The world operates as a biological system, right. not a system of individual units. And uh, so as soon as we in our industry or the, as soon as uh, humans on the globe see that that's the case, then we can start to make the transition to sustainability. But right now all we're doing is we're just kind of working around the edges. Right. As soon as we see that as a, as a concept and a philosophy and a way of operating, we'll start to see some significant change. That's great. Thanks for joining us today. I know that you've got uh, you've got a keynote to give here. Yep. And uh, appreciate the time. Well, he doesn't have his cup of coffee to toast to me, so no, we'll I go with a handshake. Cup of <laughs> Paul, keep up the great work, and thanks for taking some time to chat right. today. Go great, thanks.